You definitely need to stop this right now. This was Elon Musk's warning to Mark Zuckerberg. The bitter rivalry which is going between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg has really lingered for a long time. It looks more likely that this rivalry intensified greatly after Elon Musk successfully acquired one of the most wanted social media platforms, Twitter. Elon Musk has also proven again, just as he has always done, that he has the absolute capability of doing what Mark Zuckerberg has never dared to dream of doing. So the difficult question here is, what happens now? Do you think that the envy which Mark Zuckerberg has for Elon Musk has risen to a new height, or did Elon Musk manage to stop him? Well, join me in today's video as we explore this very interesting topic. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Like I already said, there is a very interesting topic right before us today. You cannot afford to miss out on any bit of it. Have you liked and subscribed to this channel? If you have not, please take this moment to like and subscribe. Also, turn on your notification for this channel to get updates about my unlimited stream of interesting videos. But if you have, then take a seat over a glass of drink and enjoy the video ride till the end. There used to be a time when people always said that neither Elon Musk's and Mark Zuckerberg's interests intersected much as Mark Zuckerberg's primary interests were more with digital technology and Elon Musk's primary interests more with physical technology. That is actually not the case now as Musk's purchase of Twitter has raised war in Mark Zuckerberg's turf. When did their rivalry start? This world-known rivalry between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg started way back in 2016 after a major-scale collision that they had. During the time, SpaceX, which is owned by Elon Musk, was at the brink of launching a very big rocket, which was to carry a satellite that was worth more than $200 million from Internet.org, which is a company that is being backed by Mark Zuckerberg. This forms the root of their war. This was also the first collaboration which the American billionaires had being that the telecommunications satellite would be launched into space by a rocket. However, the rocket never took off to space. A fire had broken out on the rocket and thereby prevented it from taking off. This fire had both the rocket and the satellite destroyed. Having just lost a rocket in an accident in 2015, this dealt a huge blow to SpaceX, leaving Elon Musk absolutely disappointed. Mark Zuckerberg, on the other hand, couldn't condone his own disappointment and fury as he went straight to Facebook to express his dissatisfaction, never nurturing the thought that Elon Musk would classically destroy him. Elon Musk had stated in an interview back when he was not yet the owner of Twitter that for the foreseeable future, the control of Meta will lie in Mark Zuckerberg's hands. In a recent interview at the TED conference held in Vancouver, British Columbia, Elon Musk was asked questions about his recent offer to buy Twitter. The interviewer, Chris Anderson, had asked Elon Musk in the interview whether his role as the richest man on the planet and as well as one of the platform's top influences could generate a conflict of interest. During his speech at the interview, Elon Musk used the opportunity to take a swipe at Mark Zuckerberg, and this is what he said. As for media sort of ownership, I mean, you've got Mark Zuckerberg owning Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp, and with a share ownership structure that will have Mark Zuckerberg the 14th still controlling those entities. As the audience applauded him, Elon Musk continued, like literally, we won't have that on Twitter. According to Musk's statement, it is quite possible that he was making a reference to a future long line of Zuckerberg's descendants, or it could be even a reference to King Louis XIV who ruled France for more than 72 years, bearing the record of the longest serving monarch in history. In addition, Elon Musk's statement was about the control which Zuckerberg wields over Meta, the parent company of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. It is undeniable that Mark Zuckerberg's virtue, power over other shareholders when it comes to the future decision-making about Facebook, is complete and unrivaled as Mark holds about 55% of the company's votes. This is because Facebook has a dual-class structure which gives Mark Zuckerberg select executives and directors the ability to exercise super voting powers, where each AM share they hold is equivalent to 10 votes. But this is not the same with other shareholders, as one share they hold only equals one vote. Despite the fact that Tesla does not have a dual class of shares, a considerable influence of the company is still enjoyed by Musk, as he has a 17% stake at the electric car making company, being the largest individual shareholder. 
Although Elon Musk does not have the exact level of control over Tesla as Mark Zuckerberg does over Meta, Tesla does have supermajority voting roles, and this requires the approval of two-thirds of its shares to pass major changes. This system makes Elon Musk a significant entity in the company. Musk had earlier said that if he becomes successful in his bid to acquire Twitter, he will restructure the company in such a way that it would affect the perception of a conflict of interest such as making publicly available the code of the platform. He went on to tweet on his official and verified handle, I wouldn't personally be in there editing tweets, but you will know if something was done to promote demo or otherwise affect a tweet. Musk also stated that he wasn't after making money in his decision to buy Twitter. Rather, he said he was concerned about protecting the freedom of speech on the platform. He moreover became critical about how Meta handled the moderation process. Musk believed that allowing the dissemination of information is the best interest of the platform as far as it is legal in the country where it operates. He stated that, I am not saying I have all the answers here, but I do think that we want to be just very reluctant to delete things and just be very cautious with permanent bans. Timeouts, I think, are better than permanent bans. It is not new to us all that there has been a long-standing feud between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, the Facebook founder, had issued a public statement in 2016 stating his deep disappointment with SpaceX because one of the company's rockets destroyed his Facebook satellite. Recently, Elon Musk has criticized Facebook over how it handled the issue that occurred on January 6, 2021, during the United States Capitol siege. Elon Musk has been made aware of the protection he must give Twitter users from harmful content after he staked a huge amount of $44 billion to purchase the platform. Human rights groups have recently aired their concerns about the possibility of an increase in bullying and misinformation on the platform following Musk's decision to relax content restrictions. Regardless of ownership, all social media platforms must be responsible, Boris Johnson's spokesman had stated. Musk was also warned by the European Commission that he must protect Twitter users. Thierry Breton, commissioner for the internal market at the EU executive, had warned through her tweet, be it cars or social media, any company operating in Europe needs to comply with our rules, regardless of their shareholding. According to Zuckerberg, Musk taking over Twitter would be a nightmare for many employees who previously worked under the former CEO, Tim Dorsey, and the company's regime. Musk, responding to Zuckerberg's statement, denied such a fact, stating that people at Twitter are more free now to use their hard work and innovation. Several times, Musk has raised his voice against Facebook, stating that neither he nor Tesla has an account on the platform. There is now a greater possibility that Musk will create a Twitter account for each of his companies. Around all the Facebook saga, a drama played out when WhatsApp co-founder Brian Acton tweeted, It is time, with the hashtag, delete Facebook. Musk sarcastically replied, What's Facebook? A fan replied to Musk with the question of if he will delete the SpaceX page on Facebook. Musk replied, I didn't realize there was one. Will do. Another fan also pointed out that Tesla had a Facebook page too, but Musk replied with an affirmation that he will delete that one also. Not long after, both the Tesla and SpaceX Facebook pages disappeared. Musk later said that the decision to totally leave Facebook wasn't political. Rather, he wasn't settled being on Facebook. But we all know the truth now, right? There have been many other cases where Musk kept taunting both Facebook and Zuckerberg, and he sure doesn't miss out on the opportunity to do that again and again. Well, let me know what you think about Musk's purchase of Twitter in the comment section. Do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more updates on Elon Musk.